Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well and you are loving these Christmas baubles so far. I want to go glamorous. We've already had the snowflake. We've already had the Nordic red and white. In this video, we are going dark, moody, but pure glamour with all of the glitters. And I am also using some pre-cut Cricut designs that I used my Cricut Explore for. I've already done these. Honestly, if I left this in the video the video would be 17 hours long major problems with this vinyl but we'll talk about that in a little while <laughs> let's go <laughs> So following comments from you guys and comments also from my patrons, I'm going for a variety. So I'm going for a different colour combination, two different baubles per colour. So here we are, we're using Vista Jade Green. Now this is a brand new pigment to me, I've never used it. Vista sent it to me along with the Turbo Resin that I'm going to be using in today's video. So the first two are going to be green and green gold i'm using gold glitter all of the glitters i'm using in today's video are by hemway and the second combination is going to be black and gold and i am telling you now obviously this is voiceover claire so i know the results but i thought at this stage oh my gosh look at this glitter i thought this would be my favorite combination because i love this glitter two years ago you would have seen a lot of this glitter on my channel I had an obsession with it. I think it's called Tiger, Black Tiger, something like that, Black and Gold Tiger. The third one, the set of two at the end are going to be navy blue with silver. Again, I'm using Hemway Glitter, combination of chunky and fine. So they're all going to be in the glamour theme. They're just all going to be a little bit different. Two of each, the same exact decal on each, but again, different colour combinations. Really, this is just for inspiration because I know not everybody has this mould, not everybody has a Cricut, but it's the colour combinations that I hope to inspire with as well. The first thing I do before... I use my mold or any mold for that matter is to run some sellotape over the surface. I did have some glitter falling from the glitter I was showing you guys so I am just giving it a real quick clean. Now I'm using these I have never used these before on my channel and weirdly they've been sitting in my in my resin box for the last three years. I got them with my very first starter kit and I was trying to think of what I could use as a really small vessel because I'm not using much glitter. I'm adding a really small amount of resin to a lot of glitter. I want like similar to the last video or the one before, I want a thick gloopy consistency. So yeah, these were perfect, perfect little silicon, what do you even call them? cups <laughs> they're so tiny but they work perfectly so i did realize at this point i'd not made enough resin i either don't make enough or i make way too much in this case i only made enough for three baubles so i'm just separating it out now i'm using these little pots this time these are sometimes when you get like a food takeaway and you get like little salads and little sauces that is what these pots are from they are perfect for resin and clean out like a dream and i will quite happily eat indian takeaway if it means i can have these pots <laughs> my dedication to my channel is real <laughs> So here you see me just mixing in the resin with the with the bulk of glitter. The silver is pretty much where I want it. It's nice and thick and gloopy, but this gold one was a little bit runny. But again, it didn't cause any problems at all. It, it still came out as I expected it to come out. The first thing I'm going to do to each bauble is put the glitter around the whole area. Um, and then I'm going to fill up the mould with the rest of the resin. What I really wanted to happen, and it didn't, but what I really wanted to happen was I wanted that glitter to sink down. I wanted it to spread into the bauble a bit more than it did. I wasn't going for glitter baubles at all all but I wanted it to spread down a bit more than it did um and it's fine I mean with the Cricut decal on there anyway it, it was enough it might have been too much if it spread more than it did so here on the right is the green the middle is the black and the one on the left is the navy blue now honestly if anyone has got Cricut experience oh my gosh 
I actually had a nightmare with the Cricut vinyl that I used in this video and yeah it, it does make me it does make me cross sometimes because some vinyls are like a dream but the vinyl I used for this was an absolute nightmare this is why I've not kept any of the video in I filmed the weeding but honestly for one of them it took an hour one hour to weed one single decal and that is why I've taken the footage out because there's <laughs> nobody going to sit through an eight hour video of me weeding this vinyl but yeah I'll, I'll show you the vinyl in a little while and if you've got any advice I would really gladly happily take any advice you can give me I don't know if it was anything I did wrong this time I just genuinely feel like yeah this vinyl was not the one so I had to make up more resin. This is about 20 minutes, half an hour after I poured the top row. I made up a new batch, but I made enough to not only fill the bottom row, but top up the first row as well, because not only had I not made enough, I hadn't even made enough to fill each one. So there you go, guys, there you go. It was, it was one of those days. <laughs> The results are fine. That's all that matters sometimes. Got to let it all go. Let it all go. The green. I'm loving this green from Vista. I definitely need to get me more of those colours. Um, and I'm loving I'm loving the, the depth of it. And I'm hoping, actually, I must check them out. See if they've got a blue. A nice blue would be nice. But um, that's not me hinting, Vista. <laughs> hint, hint, sponsor me. But here you go. I'm running a silicone tool in and around the edge to try and dislodge any air bubbles. But I actually found it really hard to do this to the top ones because this is half an hour later and they'd started to cure. I could feel how thick it had already got. So I kind of gave up. I really didn't want to mess them up. This is the next day and oh gosh, love it. I did want that glitter to travel down further and I was hoping the silicone tool would drag it around and it, it didn't it didn't <laughs> it really didn't but again it's all good got to try these things out so I'm learning all the time learning look at this glam I have to tell you now the blue and the silver stole my heart I thought it would be this one I thought the black and the gold would be the winner for me but the blue and the silver were without doubt my favorite combination and I'll tell you why for <laughs> because right now they don't really look like anything special it's only when the vinyl goes on it gives them a whole other new life this is where I struggled with the vinyl I left the footage in because I really wanted you guys to see the struggle was real the Cricut transfer tape would not pick this vinyl up not at all at all <laughs> Bearing in mind, I've already weeded for an hour. I ended up having to use my super strong Cricut transfer tape. And even then, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't get it. I really had to go for it. Guys, check this out. This silver shimmery vinyl on the navy blue with the silver bling at the top. Oh, I now want to do so much more with this colour combination because utterly loving it loving it more than the black and gold really surprising for myself like what do you think let me know at this stage what you think and oh my gosh i absolutely love it i absolutely love it okay let me know in the comment section down below what is your christmas color scheme what do you usually do at christmas i am a traditional i go all in traditional reds greens um golds all of that real traditional almost high I like highlands as well tartan and highlands and yeah but let me know in the comment section if you've got this far drop it in there and let me know okay the gold the gold the same brand this is the vinyl this is from Cricut this is permanent vinyl I don't know the name of it I got the gold and I got the silver shimmy and I'm telling you now I will never use this again <laughs> a true nightmare a true nightmare I, I cannot tell you I could not transfer it onto the transfer tape I ended up like I said this is the strong this is the extra strong 
cricket transfer tape, it wouldn't come off. I ended up spending about 20 minutes really, really pressing it down. I can't, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Like it actually nearly went out the window. I'm not going to lie. But how gorgeous is it? I mean, it is such a gorgeous vinyl, but it's not worth the stress for me to use this again. So if anyone wants this vinyl, I'm not saying I want you to go through the same agony and trauma that I went through. But if you do want it, hands down, I mean it, seriously, leave me a comment down below and I will post it to you quite happily. It will be folded up in an envelope, so it might not be ideal. But if you want this vinyl, I will not be using it again. Sorry, Cricut. But let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on it. And also let me know... Do you have any problems with vinyls? <laughs> because some vinyls are a dream and some aren't. I love, I absolutely love this colour combination as well. It might look like I'm going in slow-mo here, but this is such strong transfer tape. Even getting it off was hard. <laughs> I am making this sound like it's not worth it, but it is worth it. It's all worth it because look at these. I love the chunky, I love this bauble mould. I am utterly in love with it and I feel like I could just keep on going every single day of the week with different colour combinations. Look at these. I just love them. I love, love, love them. I do not love the vinyl. Absolutely will not be using it again, like I've mentioned many times in the video, so I will stop saying it now. We don't want to be all negative Nelly on a Christmas video, but if you want it, let me know in the comment section. I'll post it to you because, yeah, here's a close up. I love this glitter. This bling is another level luxury. I know I'm an affiliate for Hemway. I know this, guys. But hands down, this glitter is next level. It is for me, especially that silver. Look at it. Oh my gosh really love this project i love the fact that this was simpler than the others so it's just one layer filled up the mold flipped it over put my vinyl on the back and you guys gave me such great advice in my last video as well like you don't have to seal you don't have to seal the vinyl you can just put the vinyl on and it's job done so it really was straightforward and uh i say straightforward it really wasn't was it <laughs> it wasn't it took me an hour to weed some of these things but yeah I have other vinyls, you know, I had that vinyl sent to me by HTV Ron not long ago. It was a dream, an absolute dream to weed and it, yeah, totally different ball game. Let me know your thoughts at this point if you've enjoyed the video, if you like the colour schemes. What glamorous, glitzy, glam, bling colour scheme would you have gone for also out of these three which one is your favorite i cannot stop looking at that blue i cannot stop looking at that blue that blue and silver has my heart but thank you so so much if you've lasted this long please don't forget to like the video if you like the video please click the like button this tells youtube that you like my content and youtube will know to push my video out for people to see it who won't necessarily normally see my videos so that thumbs up really does mean a lot guys and of course don't forget to comment down below you know that i love hearing from you and i am still replying to all comments sometimes it's taking two or three days now but i will get back to you and i appreciate you massively and of course Something I rarely, rarely ask. If you've made it this far, we are nearly 14 minutes in. If you've made it this far, do click that subscribe button and yeah, join the crafty family. And I would really appreciate it. And thank you all for your support. Oh my gosh, I love that blue. Anyway, I'm going to stop and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. It's cold outside. Fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday
Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we're perfect for this week. Tomorrow. difference this time is that ever since July I've been happier than I have ever been it's safe to say that my love for you is true tomorrow Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you tomorrow. Cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything till we perfect for this week. Tomorrow.